Hi, boys and girls. Today, I'm going to read to you the last section from our story, The Sun. This section is titled, The Sun in Earth's Sky. Earth spins once each day. As Earth spins, the sun seems to move across the sky. Think of a top, a toy that you could spin in a circle. That's how our Earth spins on a daily basis. Take a look at the picture. Can you point to the yellow star? And what do we call that yellow star? That's right, we call it the sun. Now point to Earth. And take a look at the arrows that are going around Earth. That arrow is showing us that it is spinning and it spins all day long. The sun rises in the east every morning and the sun sets in the west every night. Take a look at that beautiful picture. Have you ever seen the sunrise in the morning? Have you ever seen the sun set at night? It's beautiful, lots of colors in the sky. The sun gives earth light and heat. The sun makes life on earth possible. If it wasn't for the sun, we wouldn't have life here on earth. Take a look at that picture, a beautiful picture in the woods. The sun is shining through the trees. You could almost feel the heat from the sun by looking at that picture. So with today's reading, I want you to try to answer these two questions. The first one is, what does the sun give earth? And the second question is, where does the sun rise and where does it set? Take a look at the last page of this book. The title is Glossary. Can you say that word for me? Glossary. When you read nonfiction books, you will see a glossary at the end of the book. And the glossary is very helpful to us. It will list all kinds of words that we have already read in the story. And it will give us the definition of each word. If you take a look at the word asteroid, it says a large rocky body that moves around the sun. Asteroids are too small to be called planets. The next word is comet, ball of rock and ice that moves around the sun. The third one is a dwarf planet. Do you remember reading about the dwarf planet? A round object that moves around the sun, but is too small to be a planet. Pluto is a dwarf planet. The next word in our glossary is gas. Gas is a substance that spreads to fill any space that holds it. The sun is made of hydrogen and helium gases. The next word in our glossary is planet, a large object that moves around the sun. Our Earth is considered a planet because we move around the sun. The next word in our glossary is solar system. You learned about the solar system before, didn't you? The sun and the objects that move around it. Our solar system has eight planets, dwarf planets including Pluto, and many moons, asteroids, and comets. And the last word in our glossary is yellow star. That was the first thing we talked about in this book. Yellow star is a medium-sized star. The sun is a yellow star.